my friends, my name is LazyJet and today you join me in a very special Hornby review because I have two special locos with me. As I went to the Hornby shop in Eastleigh, AC Models, I decided to buy two very special engines and those engines are the Black 5, which is actually number 45379, which is actually at Margate, and Bitten with the two tenders, which is actually actually at Margate as well. And um, this Black 5 was actually at uh, Ropley at the Midhounds Railway. And believe it or not, Bitten was actually there as well. So I've got two engines that I've got a sort of relationship together, which is actually kind of cute. And if you guys are wondering, yes, I am in my pajamas. I mean, who does not like making a video in pajamas? It's nice and comfy. I reckon. I reckon making a video in, in pajamas. But back to the models, uh, we're going to review the Black 5 today because I've got to be honest, uh, I've actually had a big problem with Bitten because uh, the other day I actually went to buy Bitten, which I did, uh, but as I actually put it on my rolling road for a test, uh, the rods got um, badly damaged uh, and I think it was a, so a lot of people are saying that it's a factory error, so I actually took it back to... Um, to, to the train shop and they actually gave me a brand new one. They actually replaced my broken bitten for a new one. I actually do have uh, a video that I filmed yesterday of actually unboxing the other bitten, that I, the, the first bitten I bought. So just take a look, quick look at this uh, footage that I filmed yesterday. I love the red wheels as well. I mean, normally when I have an A4 as good looking as this one, normally the wheels are covered up and it's all streamlined. But I actually love it when an A4 is got, when it has its, all of its wheels exposed. It's so cool and I just love the detail in the number. Let's see if I can try and um, get a close up. I'm going to zoom in for you guys. Let me just zoom in the lens so you guys can actually see better. There we go. Look at that. I've never seen a model, well, apart from the Flying Scotsman. I mean, that's got great detail, but Hornby always impresses me with the amount of detail and effort they put to their, to their amazing models. Can't speak at the moment because I'm just so speechless to how well this model actually looks. So as I said, the model we're going to review today is the Black 5. So let's get this out of its box and let's see what she looks like. So this is the Black 5 at the Margate Hornby Museum, number 45379. And this is actually uh, the Black 5 that actually worked on the Midhands Railway or the Watercrest Line um, uh, many years ago. But uh, the Hornby uh, number is uh, R3805. Let's see if we go, you guys, a quick close shop. Click, I can't speak properly. A quick close shop uh, on the Hornby co uh, code thing. It's right there. I don't know if you guys can actually see that, but that is the um, the Hornby code. Uh, limited edition, only a thousand of these have been made. And um, I'm really excited to actually get this out of its box and see how well it runs. And now I'm going to fit it with a sound decoder and then we'll blast it around my track because I'm going digital now. My Hornby locos are going digital. So let's uh, slide this out of the box. I'm really excited. I, mean, I want to be very careful as well because uh, I've already had one um, Hornby bro uh, loco that has been, been broken. So I don't want another one. Let's just move that out of the way, and there it is. Wow, look at that. I mean, I know it shows it on the picture, but when you actually see the model itself, it's a totally different story. I love the red striping as well across the boiler. That's really nice. Uh, so let's get out of its uh, block of ice. It looks like a block of ice, doesn't it? So let's move that to one side quickly. Oh, and we've got a, um, we'll just pop that uh, there for just a second. We've got this little certificate, and this is number, oh wow, this is number 117, this uh, loco. So a thousand of these have been made, and this is number 117. So that's actually a um, pretty low number. That's in the 100 zone, so you know, that's a win for me. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's not the lowest number in the world, but you know, it's still a pretty good number in my opinion. I mean, I, I like that. So um, let's move the box to one side and let's have a good close up of the Black 5. Let's slide it out. Oh, this just looks so pretty. Look how gorgeous this ma this magnificent engine is. And we've got a few uh, bits and pieces and we've got like a front coupling if we want to add a coupling to the front of the local. I might do that later. Um, but wow, we're almost there, my friends. Look how gorgeous that looks. And the lighting is really working well as well in this room. That's because I've got my curtains open. <laughs> I don't normally film with my curtains open, so you're going to have to forgive me. So let's gently get this out. Move that to one side. And there it is. That's a bit of focus. Can you focus in for me? There we go. Wow, look at that. What a beautiful looking engine, especially a black, I mean, everyone loves a black five. And yes, the black five is actually based off Henry. No, sorry, Henry is based off the black five. You know, Henry from uh, Thomas and Friends, obviously. But look at the detail in that, especially the rivets as well. I love that so much. Let's get a good shot of the front of the loco as well. Oh, that is beautiful. I do like the face. It kind of looks like a little bit like a, a castle class, doesn't it? Just a little bit. But look how big those wheels are. They just look so beautiful. And I love the cab detail as well. They actually have got to cab detail. I mean, I don't know if I could try and show you guys without actually damaging or breaking the actual... Um, 
I want to be extra careful because uh, I've already had a, a Hornby mo model that's broken, so I don't want to break this one. But there's the tent, obviously, and look at the coal. Oh, I love the coal. So what we're going to do now is I'm actually going uh, to turn the camera off for just a second, and I'm actually going to be fitting a sound decoder in this loco. And I'll see you guys uh, in the review inbox, and we'll test this on the rolling road as well, and we'll test out the sound. So look forward to that in a second. So um, I'm going to get busy, and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. I now have the Black 5 on the rolling road and I have fitted her DCC sound chip in her tender and I am ready to give this thing a good test and she does look great in the, um, in the reviewing box. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head over to the control box and give her a little bit of power and see if he actually does move So before we actually give it sound. We don't want to like give her a little spoiler. So let's just see if she moves. So let's give her a bit of power. Oh yes, there it goes. It's moving and it looks great. Look at that. It looks fantastic. And wow, look at all those wheels. I just love how the rods move so smoothly, especially in a lovely DCC fitted engine as good as the Black 5. Oh, it just looks so fantastic. I'll see if I'm trying to zoom out so you guys can actually see the rest of the loco. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Especially in a Black 5 in a great livery like this. Just looks absolutely stunning. Right, now we know that the engine works, I think we should try out its sound. So we press function one on the uh, digital controller and let's see if the sound will turn on. Oh yes, you can hear it. I hope you guys can hear that very clearly. Uh, and let's see uh, what kind of whistle she's got. So function two is a whistle long and two short bursts. So let's have a listen to that one. Wow, that's absolutely fantastic. And number three is whistle medium. What does that, that sound like? Oh, I like that. That's, that's fantastic. Function four is whistle medium and two short bursts. Let's have a listen to function four. Oh, wow. That's just a, like you're getting ready to go whistle. Like everyone on board? Uh, let's have a look. Function five is whistle very short but two bursts. Let's have a listen to function five. Oh, I like that. It's like a little toot toot. That is cute. And it's got so many wheels. It's got wheel slip, coal shoveling, uh, blow down, safety valve injector, uh, cylinder cock, whatever that is, uh, brakes, blower, guard's whistle, uh, coupling clank, fireman's breakfast, and it's got some more whistles. So if we go to function 19, let's have a little listen. That's, that's, that's the whistle of a Black 5 I'm feeling familiar with. Uh, function 20 is whistle long, two short bursts. Oh, that sounds interesting. Let's try function 20. Let's have a little listen. Oh, yes. That is a beautiful sounding whistle. So let's try, what's function 21? Uh, whistle medium fancy. Let's have a look at 21. Are we ready? Oh, that is a very fancy one, isn't it? It's very weird. It sounds like it's kind of screaming, isn't it? And function 22 is a whistle very short. Okay, let's listen to function 22. Ha <laughs> I like that. It's like a little dip. Oh my god, that sounds so cute. Right, let's uh, give it power. And let's see what it sounds like when it's actually moving. So here we go. Alright, oh, looks and sounds fantastic. Let's give it a little bit more speed, shall we? God, listen to that. That sounds magnificent. That's just absolutely gorgeous. It's always nice to have a Black 5 with sound in it. It's just... I love the, di the digital sound, my friends. I mean, you can't deny how well the sound sounds. I'm going to give another whistle again. Let's try... Um, Try whistle four again. Oh, that sounds, it, it sounds so clear as well. And another thing you have to remember is the reason why digital trains have given me a buzz is because it gives the engine more character. So that's why I love the sound chips. They just give it more realism. And because I'm autistic, I mean, I love the way the sound goes with the engines. I mean, if I slow it down, 
it kind of cuts off and then it goes back to its normal pace and speed. So that's like a little cruising speed. I love that. That's absolutely gorgeous. Let's see if I can try and zoom in for you guys. Well, that's good. Now we know that the engine runs well and looks fantastic. I think what we should do is we'll just turn it off for a second. And we should put it on my layout and see how well it runs when it's pulling some lovely passengers. So let's have, head over, sorry, to my magnificent layout. Right, the black five is now on my layout and we have five red Mark I coaches, except this one. This one's actually a Mark II. But we're going to couple up and get moving. So let's head over to our controller and let's see if it's going forwards or backwards. Ooh, it's going forwards, so let's put it in reverse. Let's give it a little bit more power as well. And it's so loud as well. I love how smooth it runs as well. So there we go, we're about to couple up. Perfect, that was so smooth. Right, let's get our magnificent train moving. So let's give ourselves some power and blow the whistle. So it's running nice and smooth, so I was thinking of maybe giving it a little bit more juice. So let's give it a bit more speed and power, shall we? There we go, that's more like it. Right, let's bring the Black 5 to a halt for just a second, so let's slow it down.
There we go, perfect. Sorry if it's a little bit out of focus. I'm not very good with a camera. I normally have to stick to a webcam. But there we go. That is a lovely looking engine. And that was a fantastic test. I love the sound effects. I mean, I hope you guys did like the sound effects too. But um, I think that concludes our video for today. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you want to see more, then make sure you click that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. All the links are in the description. Thank you again so much for watching. Have a good day, my friends. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.